Judge with caution. You do not become an ancient beast without learning a few tricks along the way. Ancient dragon, emerge and speak truth with us, lest I plunge my spear into your heart. Vios tormana diataraxi, teen ire mano mu. You address the great princess Olivia, defender and champion of the Bobble people. Ah, English. Tell me, Bold of Glossa, why have you entered the folia of the Lernia? Show yourself! is full of valor, young one. But what you ask is not to be. The gods have made me this way and I cannot change my nature. Perhaps your quarrel is with those that have created you. The gods do not decide my future. It will be of what I make of it. Hey, Olivia, lunchtime. We will stay our hand this day, good dragon. Until we meet again. Oh, can we play again after lunch? Twould be my pleasure, your majesty. Mom, we went through a forest. We climbed a mountain. And there was a cave and a dragon. But James gave me this armor. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it sounds like you and your dad had a lot of fun on your adventure today. No, Mom, I told you. It was James. My dad's not even here. Uh, sweetie, don't you think James would make a good dad? Of course. So, does this mean you're going to have a baby? <laughs> no, sweetie. <laughs> I mean, James. He could be your dad. What happens to my dad? Eat your food. I'll get it. Pete! Yeah? Got off work a little early, thought I'd swing on by. So, where's my little princess? You're huh? not supposed to pick her up until six. Oh, Eight. come on, Elle. I haven't seen her in a month. 
Hey, you're the one who's always getting on to me about spending more time with her. Yeah, five years ago. Better late than never, right? You can't expect to come here and pick her up early. James finally has the day to spend with her. I'm not gonna let you take that away from him. Yeah, but I am her dad, and he is not. You are her father. You're not her dad. Oh, no, no, thank you. I am a Sphere-tarian. What? A Sphere-tarian. I only eat spheres. You know, like marbles, baseballs, basketballs, only if I'm really hungry. Her father. Damn it, Elle, why do you always have you. to do that? No, 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 no. Me. Okay, okay, look. I don't want to fight. I'm sorry. I screwed up. I wasn't there for you, but I do want to be there for her. She's my daughter. No. No. Well, at least let me pick her up at five. I've got tickets to the ballet and it starts at six. Fine. No, we're not going to make a habit out of no, this, okay? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. No. It's just ballet tickets. It's just this one time. Okay, listen. No, 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 no. Hey, if you uh, finish all your food, Daddy's gonna come pick you up early tonight. Really? Yay, Daddy's coming! So, five? I had an idea for a story. I'm gonna go work on that while she eats. Don't go. Hey, sweetie, after lunch, how about we let that dragon sleep for a while and try something new? And then my dad's coming. She doesn't know it yet, but you are her dad, not Pete. Well, maybe if I had more time with her. That's not fair. Oh, and is it fair that he walks all over you? He's not taking her to the ballet. I didn't know what else to do. He buys her everything she wants. All I have are my stupid stories. Stupid stories? You share something with her that Pete never could. You're the only one that I've ever met with a bigger imagination than she has, and she loves it. Great. I'll pretend to be her dad. Good. And while you're at it, can you pretend not to be such an ass to your sweet and loving wife? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to take it out on you. It just, it just gets under my skin. He's a salesman. That's what he does. She loves your stories. She doesn't want teddy bears. She wants adventure. Yeah. What does my sweet and loving wife want? We'll save that for after five. Hmm. Well then, I vanquish you until five. <laughs> <laughs> I have stories to tell. Presenting Princess Olivia! Why, hello, Your Royal Highness. Are you ready for our next adventure? Can April come too? Of course. She's one of the main characters. Okay. In a magical kingdom, long, long ago, lived the beautiful maiden Rhea and her loyal friend, Amelia Hippo. Hi. <laughs> Amelia was not a normal hippo. In fact, she was the skinniest hippo you'd ever seen. You see, 
Being skinny is something us humans like very much. But to hippos, they take great pride in being ginormous. <laughs> Bigger the better. My mom always used to say, eat your marbles, young lady. <laughs> <laughs> but all the marbles in the land had disappeared. So Rhea decided to take Amelia Hippo to find the Marble Man. And Rhea knew that the best place to start their search was the Blanket Palace. The Blanket Palace used, used to be the busiest place in all the land. Now only the king spends all his time here. I heard even the fairies used to visit. But if no one comes anymore, who will help us find the Marble Man? Nobody knows why, but the fortune teller has never left his palace. I heard he was born with four eyes. Two to see the present, two to see the future. The man you seek waits in this very palace, locked in a life that is not his. Royalty adorned in beggar's robes. James? I'm the fortune teller. Why do wise men in stories always talk in riddles? I think it's because, well, Life is full of riddles, and only the wise can answer them. It's like, why does your mom want you to call me dad, when you already have a dad? Mom must be really wise. <laughs> she is, isn't she? Well, what else did the fortune teller say to Raya and Amelia? Ah, the fortune teller told them where they could find the Marble Man. But there was one problem. The Marble Man couldn't remember who he really was. Amnesia? No. The king had stolen his memory. But even worse, the king had stolen the entire kingdom from him. The Marble Man was actually King Kalpana. So, the king wasn't really a king? Ah, but he was. You see, there were actually two kings in this magical land. King Samea was in charge of the market, which required him to have a very shiny watch. Why does he have a watch? King Samea's watch was a special watch. With it, he could steal time. And everybody's always looking for more time, so he'd sell it at the market. King Kalpana was in charge of making the magical goods that were sold at the market. You're late. It could not be helped, dear king. Magic does not always follow your schedule. Yes, but if you would follow my schedule, we could triple our profits at the market. But our kingdom already has all that it needs. King Samea cared only about making money and stealing time. More time for me, less for you. How much time did he steal? Some days, just an hour. But sometimes, he'd steal an entire day. That's not very nice. It's not even a little bit nice. <laughs> After King Samea stole the kingdom from King Kalpana, he banished all that reminded him of his former friend, even the Princess Rhea. Eight years hence she will return. From whence she came she will not know. To strike a blow and make all right. Two kings to rule them all. I'm a Sphiritarian, short and stout. Here is my hands, and here is my foot. Give me marbles or basketballs. I can eat them all and all. Why? Why what? Why are you so good to her?
because she deserves to have what I never did. It may sound stupid, but I believe in happily ever after. It's wonderful. The adventure continues. Daddy! Mom! James! My dad's here! Hey Daddy. there, Princess! Look what I found for you. Oh, hey. Thank you. Another and bear. I also found <laughs> this! Really? Uh-huh. Go put it on. You're going to want it for tonight. Can we get hot dogs? Of course. Go on. Hey there, Jim. How you doing, pal? Looking good, you've been working out. <clears throat> so, the uh, ballet? Yeah, <laughs> slight change of plans, you know. One of my clients, he had these really great tickets to the game, but he couldn't use them, so guess who got them? <laughs> Pete, I want you to know, I'm not trying to replace you. She loves you. Honestly, I do not want to interfere with that. I just want what's best for Olivia. Do you love it? Now you look like a real fan. Don't let her have too much junk food. We'll be fine. Have fun with your daddy. Okay, thanks for playing with me, James. Yeah. Oh. And when you get back, I'll let you know how Rhea becomes a princess and frees King Kalpana. Wait, which king is her dad? You'll have to wait till the end of the story, little princess. <laughs> okay, uh, we better get going. Don't want to be late. <laughs> have fun, sweetheart. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Later, gators. In a while, crocodile. Uh, nice! What's wrong? I think they're both her dad. I love you, Daddy. I love you too, Olivia.